Hello everyone, John here at ECD Auto Design down in Kissimmee, Florida. Uh, today we want to talk to you about the benefits of owning a classic vehicle. Now, of course, as you know, that's our specialty here at ECD. Uh, we started off with classic Defenders 12 years ago or so. And today, of course, we have a lineup that uh, not only is super exciting, of course, to share, uh, but also I think that touches uh, some of the most interesting vehicles in uh, automotive history. Um, of course, with the Fenders also came Range Rover Classics, uh, serious vehicles from uh, the 1960s and 70s as well. So overall, of course, the uh, Land Rover trucks were or um, initial face and uh, uh, production of classic uh, vehicles. And of course, that paved the way to all the different things that we're offering today, such as the iconic Jaguar E-Type, as well as um, recently uh, Mustangs from the 1967-68 generation, which are dear to my heart, one of my favorites as well. Uh, you now, I think that there's a very um, uh, interesting idea uh, when it comes to owning a, a vehicle like this. Number one, I think that folks are uh, sentimentally attached to a uh, vehicle like this uh, for numerous way, uh, uh, reasons. Um, perhaps they might have grown up with a vehicle like that. Uh, in the case of the Land Rovers, we hear of plenty of people who um, either lived in the Caribbean or Europe, or perhaps their uh, grandparents had a truck like this and uh, they took them to school or on excursions with it. Um, as well as um, you know, the Mustangs, perhaps someone that a dear friend had in high school, and they all, they, they all sworn they will uh, have one exactly like it when they grew up. Um, things like that, of course, uh, we see a lot of. Now, of course, there's also the um, involvement, you know, having a classic car, of course, is all sorts of events that um, people can participate in. Uh, we were recently at Amelia Island, uh, the month of uh, April and uh, just being able to share the passion in that community is just fantastic. So it, of course ECD uh, it's always looking at ways of integrating um, that. Uh, right now we're really are focusing on our reach programs where we're pretty much all around the, the, the country uh, throughout the year participating in, in events such as uh, those uh, at Amelia, uh, as well as Carson Coffees and different Conco Delegans um, uh, venues that will take place throughout the year. We have got a couple of clients that actually have built their own um, serious truck, for instance, and a Jaguar E-Type. Project Overload, for instance, is one of them. This is a Series 3 that we got from a client in Texas who wanted to redo the whole car, keeping the right-hand drive, keeping it stick shift, and uh, but making it look like new. Just giving the car maybe another 30, 40 years of life, that was the key for him. We have a Jaguar E-Type that another client wanted to do with a uh, V12 engine, the original, retooled, of course, fuel injected instead of carbureted, uh, just to make it yeah, much more enjoyable, enjoyable to drive. I think that when people look at um, what we can do for them, and they're very appreciative, of course, of the fact that we're giving uh, a second breath, of course, to uh, their cars. Not only, of course, are they um, seeing the vehicle brought back to new uh, spec, but also have the ability, of course, to, to share that and uh, take the cars into different types of, of things, of course, and, and events that may um, result in, in uh, great experiences for them in the future. So um, all in all, I think that ECD, uh, it, it has become an, um, a platform for enthusiasts and for people that really want to preserve and enjoy uh, classic cars, of course, and, and enjoy the fact that we can make them be even better than they were before so they can enjoy them even more so. For some clients, even the investment aspect of owning a classic car is something that, of course, catches their attention. Um, and you will see the many instances, of course, that the bringing of a, a car that is in shambles and after we're done with it, uh, of course, is something that they could consider an asset and uh, 
and of course see their values uh, uh, much more appreciated uh, of course once that a car like this uh, it's been finally uh, tuned and uh, and make of course much more civilized or refined to um, uh, be driven uh, frequently and be enjoyed of course for many years to come all in all here at ECD uh, we see ourselves as as I mentioned earlier a platform for car enthusiasts that will look for us and our services whenever they are in need of fulfilling a dream and having that sense of community in the classic car world.